Hello everybody, I'm starting a new series on PowerShell. We'll be looking at how we can automate using PowerShell, a basic scripting. For the ones that don't know what PowerShell is, PowerShell is a Windows command line shell designed especially for system admins. It includes two versions, so that's one of them. That's just a regular command prompt utility like the command prompt in Windows. But then there's another integrated scripted environment which has help section right here. Basically it shows you every command, shows you got a command add in here, which when you click on a command shows a little bit more information about it. Here is where you actually type commands. If you want to run one single command, you could just say output hello, and that's what that does. And this is where you can write a bunch of commands and run them as a script. So this is called ISC, which is Integrated Scripting Environment, and, and the two versions of PowerShell is what we just saw. So PowerShell is built on top of .NET Framework Common Language Runtime, CLR, and the .NET Framework itself. It accepts and returns .NET objects, so when you type a command like get service, what's returned is actually an object. So everything in PowerShell is an object. So this brings new tools, new methods. It brings a new way of doing things at Windows. They're also called commandlets. So a write host command that I just ran is usually referred to as write host commandlet, which is basically a simple single function command line utility, which either returns or prints something to the console. And it's a very common phenomenon. And PowerShell, as you install it, has um, over 100 basic core commandlets, I think, um, could be more. You can write your own commandlets if you have a simple use case that you want to automate something which you'd run on a daily basis, you're good to write your own commandlet. We'll learn how to do that as well. And the commandlets that we have access to will let you do different things like manipulating file systems. It gives you access to registry, it gives you access to... And the way it does is, is also a whole new concept. They're called PS drives. We'll dive into that during this course. And without further ado, let's dive in. So this is a simple introduction of Windows PowerShell and I look forward to seeing you guys in the rest of the course. You are awesome. Now, to get your daily dosage of IT programming and automation, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Spread the word using the share button. Thank you.